This encampment years in the making, now among the latest removed by the state. But with thousands popping up along state roads throughout Washington, we're asking the governor if this is just a game of whack-a-mole. Today, the governor was touring a site under the First Avenue Bridge in Seattle. People who work nearby say they've seen cars and people there for three years. Fox 13's Matthew Smith joining us from that area. And Matthew, we've seen these cleanups before, so why this site and what's so different it's drawing out the governor? Frankly, it seems like the governor is trying to light a fire underneath of the legislature, much like we've seen fires in this encampment. Uh, at issue here is whether or not he's getting the funding that he wants to clean up places like this. And today, it seemed like Governor Inslee was taking the Senate to task. All I've seen is just a growth of vehicles. Ugly. This truck driver didn't want to show his face, but he's seen this encampment grow for a long, long time. Oh, I'd say at least... At least three years. Mannequin heads, a guitar, even burnt out structures. And the shovels proved not enough. They bring out the heavy duty equipment. Jeez, look at that. Flanked by his wife, wow. Governor Inslee toured this site, once home to 64 vehicles. Many believed to be stolen, some RVs. What you can't see is the stench. Minutes into today's tour, I could already feel it in my stomach. The governor calling it squalor beneath the 35 people who are living here using the work to call out the Senate's latest budget proposal, which funds far less than the type of money Inslee's calling for. He did over $800 million in the state of Washington uh, last year, and the Senate has proposed to do hundreds of millions of dollars less than that. We need to do more than that if we're going to accelerate that. In fact, the early efforts to clean up sites has been, in a word, slow. Uh, we just saw yet another fire over the weekend underneath the Ship Canal Bridge. The cleanup work started there, but roughly 14 people remain. The listing the sites, though, is nearly impossible. More than 2,000 existed in September. The last count, 900 plus in King County alone. This site representing 0.0005% of the sites. Inslee betting big that he can put a $4 billion proposal on a ballot that would build housing, which he directly ties to this homeless crisis. I asked about a plan B. I didn't seem to register. We're not planning for failure. The legislature ought to be able to do this. I'm glad to see that it's finally getting cleaned up. For now, this marks roughly a dozen cleanup locations that are state right of way. A few thousand more left to go. Oh, it's going to take a lot. <laughs> so there were 35 people living in this encampment when they started to make contact in order to sweep everybody out of here. 30 people ended up taking permanent residence in a different location. Five other people, though, did not. They've since moved on. We'll continue to track the latest on the budget and what will happen with these encampments, the thousands of them that still remain. Matthew Smith, Fox 13 News.